What's going on guys and welcome back and welcome to day four of Vibesmas where we'll be uploading a video every single day from December 1st to December 25th and today we are going to be doing one of my favorite things making a non stealth killer into a stealth killer and to go with the season of Christmas and the holidays we're choosing the night why because that way we have a silent night get it like the song silent night the song okay i'll stop and our silent night kicks off with trail of torment after damaging a generator we become undetectable until either a the gen stops regressing or b it's not included here this also counts as part of it being not regressing a survivor interacts with the gen so either it hits zero or a survivor comes back to touch it now that might speed up a little bit because we have a little bit of gen defense here with overcharge whenever we kick a gen the next time a survivor interacts with that gen they will have a difficult skill check and if they miss it that gen will lose four percent additional progress but on top of that any generator afflicted with overcharge will suffer a increased regression from 85% to 130% over the next 30 seconds. And to keep up with our silent abilities and sneaking up on people when they aren't expecting it, we have nowhere to hide. Anytime we kick a generator, the auras of any survivors within 24 meters will be revealed to us for 5 seconds, so we'll be able to sneak up and ambush them. And then on top of trail giving us our undetectable, we're going to be inflicting oblivious with hex plaything. Anytime we hook a survivor, they become cursed by plaything and they will be oblivious until their hex totem is cleansed. And for the first minute and a half, no other survivor will be able to do the plaything totem except for the afflicted survivor. Now, when we kick our gens with trail, we want to be stealthy as long as possible. So to do that, we have the tattered tabard. Say that five times fast. But this will increase the patrol time for all guards by eight seconds. And there's a certain guard we are going to want to leave on the gens, and that is the jailer. So we have the cold steel manacles. And whenever we are going through our shuffle of our knights, this will summon the jailer twice in a row giving us twice the protection on our Trail of Tormented Gen. And then it wouldn't be a stealth build if we weren't going to an indoor map. So, we have our Larry's Offering. Because as you see, we only have one Midwitch, and I love myself enough to not send myself to the game. So we're going to be going to Larry's unless the survivor counters with a map of their own. This should be a fun time. This should be a good build. Let's get into the holiday season with... The Silent Night. So we are in on the Shelter Woods because one of these gamers brought a sacrificial ward. So that sucks. But we're going to make the most of it and just see what we can do. Yeah, this map just feels so cluttered ever since they added this Skull Merchant base. Like, just another thing that the Skull Merchant ruined. Alright, where are we going, Claudie? Uh, you're going to that vault. They get a gen. Let's try and go basement here. All right, we got Claudia in the basement. Nice.
Hello, Cheryl. How you doing? Ow! Oh, a blast mine! That stun is just so long. We could go tunnel that Claudie, but I think we'll leave her for now. Blind attempt through the tree. Nice. Second play thing. We're gonna wait for Trail to come back off cooldown. And there we go. We eat the stunner at God Palette. Let's go back and kick this. Blast mind again! I believe this Claudie here is our Blast Mine friend. Can I help you, other Claudie? Get our third play thing. Switch on to Cheryl. She makes that vault. Is that that's live, right? It's gotta be. We leave her because they went after our gen, which, that's so weird that like, trails up, but the gen's still regressing. I actually don't know what to, what to make of that. That's very weird. Just grab you. We'll take the bait on that one, that's fine. Cheryl go there. We use a guard to save that gen. We kick this one ourselves. And for the first time, we don't get Blast Mind while kicking it. Oh, what was that? 
Oh, we bit on the fake on that one. There we go. Alright. We spread out our playthings. We move on. Should be Cheryl's death hook, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got stuck on something. She's going to try and come in for the flashlight. And now we move on to Claudie. you to come with me I know that gen back here had progress so let's go kick that and trail it now so I saw her walking that's a sprint burst Oh, she's holding W away. Alrighty. Hattie. Oh. I'm surprised the guard didn't pick her up. Surprise, Claudette didn't try to come for the save on that one. Let Hattie go. Face the wall. No hooks really in that corner. All right, up you go. I forget what this Claudette was running. Uh, why are they running together? We'll switch out of the Hattie because she didn't go into the main area. Quick down on Hattie. We place a guard in case Claudette's nearby for the save. Claudette saved other Claudette last second. Honestly, I respect this uh, blue shirt Claudette a lot. She's been very altruistic, playing a 
That's a very good teammate, which is nice to see. Like, this Claudette is someone I would want as a teammate. That's why I think we'll go for this Claudette, and we'll let the blue one uh, get hatch. Don't try it. Oh, and we got an achievement. Uh, hit 40 survivors with a basic attack while you're undetectable. Okay. Oh, we just did that, so that's cool. It didn't spawn here. Alright, let's let her get the hatch out of here. <laughs> Look. Going out in style. GG's. And let's go again. <laughs> 